this video is all about walking you through Construct 3's user interface. Once you get past the start page, you'll be greeted with this. And before you dive in, it's probably worth getting to know roughly what everything does. For some of the more complicated aspects of Construct, there will be separate videos. I will pop links in the description and link them directly in this video. So, onto the interface. We'll start with probably the most obvious bit, the main menu. Click this menu button to open up the main menu, and by the end of this video, the word menu will probably sound a bit odd. The main menu presents you with options related to your project, settings, the ski store, and more. And to the right of the main menu, you'll find the main toolbar. These four buttons are some of the most commonly used features. From left to right, you have save, undo, redo, and preview. The drop down arrows next to undo and redo allow you to see a list of undo or redo actions, and if you select one from the list, Construct will undo, or redo, all of the actions up to the chosen action. There's also a drop down button for preview, and this will open up the preview options for your project. You can either preview a specific layout or your whole project, you can run a debug preview, or if you've got an active subscription, you can try out remote preview. Moving along this bar a bit further, you'll see all of your open tabs. Tabs allow you to switch between different layouts and event sheets, even between projects, which is why properly naming your tabs is highly recommended. It's much less confusing that way. Still moving to the right, you'll find the account badge. If you've seen our video about using accounts with Construct 3, you'll know what this does. But for those of you who've not seen that, the account badge shows which account you're logged in as, it shows your username and profile image. If you click the account badge, you can open the account menu where you'll find login and logout options and the ability to view some of your account details. Now, let's talk about this big space in the middle. This is the main view. It's where you'll see either your layout or event sheet, depending on which tab you have open. Currently, we've got nothing in this project, so you can see an empty layout or event sheet. But things look a little different when you start to build a game. And here's one we prepared earlier. This is Demon Noir, an RPG game demo that's available from the start page in Construct 3, no matter what edition you're using. When you've got a project open, empty or otherwise, you'll have bars on either side of the main view. On the left, you've got the properties bar. This bar will show various properties depending on what's selected. Properties can be shown for projects, layers, layouts, and objects. Opposite the properties bar on the right hand side of the screen, we have two sets of bars. The one on the top here is the project bar. The project bar shows you an overview of everything in your project. If you've got multiple projects open, everything that's not related to the active project will be greyed out. Underneath the project bar, you'll see the layers bar. This bar simply shows the layers that make up the active layout. However, you'll notice there's a tab at the bottom here that says tile map. Click that and you'll swap the layers bar for the tile map bar. The tile map bar allows you to directly edit tile maps that are in the current layout. By default, the tile map and layers bars are docked together, but you can rearrange all of these bars to suit you. And if you accidentally close one, simply click view and bars under the main menu. Here, you can choose to switch bars on or off, even those that you've still got docked. When you reopen a closed bar, it will appear in the editor as a window for you to reposition as you need to. While we're on the subject of customising C3, did you know you can change the theme? Construct 3 comes with three themes to pick from, but you can also download third-party themes or even make your own using the SDK. To switch themes, open up your settings under the main menu and pick from the theme drop-down. Let's change this over to the dark theme for a change. And that's what it looks like now. Simply go back to the settings if you want to change it back. And that concludes our whirlwind tour of the Construct 3 interface. Check the video description for more in-depth discussions of some of the features mentioned here, and we'll see you in the next video.